what's going on guys so today I'm going to show you the number one upgrade you should do for anyone that's running an internal waste gated uh, Borg Warner EFR turbo well, a lot of you guys have checked out other videos if you haven't you know go back uh, on the channel and check out some other videos of the build um, you can check out some of the dyno sheet um, so any of you who don't know the car it's a compound turbo S2000 and the primary turbo is an EFR 6258 from Borg Warner. Now, a real cool part of this design is the internal wastegate on these guys is revolutionary. Uh, the placement of the flow, the size of the internal gate, and just how well it works is unlike any other internal gate on the market. Um, you really get an awesome bang for your buck for the EFR as far as packaging. It was perfect for the compound setup. Uh, built in blow off valve, built in wastegate, obviously, it's the internal. Um, one of the downfalls of it though is the boost control. Boost control is always a difficult thing on a single port uh, wastegate actuator. So today I'm going to show you one of the best upgrades you can have for it. That would be this guy. This is a TurboSmart um, IWG75 twin port wastegate. Let's do this upgrade. Um, one is upgrading from the single port wastegate actuator that the Borg Warner turbos come with um, to the twin port so we can control just like an external wastegate the top and bottom port and also switching from the three port solenoid that comes with the EFR to a four port solenoid. So I did a little diagram up here so you guys can tell what's about the difference between the old setup and the new setup. So on the wastegate that was on it currently we have the medium boost gate, which they have, and they have a chart, and I can uh, even throw that up on here. But, um, as you can see here, I have it labeled, this gate cracks open at about 11 to 14 PSI, depending on the preload of the actuator, and at full stroke, it's at full stroke at 20 pounds. Um, and then also, just for anyone who isn't, isn't familiar with these, this is kind of how a three-port boost solenoid works. You get a boost signal from your intake manifold or your compressor housing of the turbo. Um, and then basically it's controlled with just two wires off a boost controller. Mine's built into the K-Pro and this goes to the wastegate as reference and then you can spill off some of it. So some of the issues with the single port setup include boost spikes in fast transitions. So when you're really shifting through you can have boost spikes uh, on this instance and I haven't experienced too much of that but I know other people have especially um, people that have run EFRs on like a Subaru and then also you can have boost dips with like a really slow recovery um, if you notice in our dyno sheet um, actually I can show you I have a picture up here we do have a slight dip in the torque curve and if you've been following along and check out some of the other videos you can see that when boost hits 15 17 psi you'll see it dip back down and then pick back up um, that could be due to the single pore having a slow recovery like it's t like I'm talking about here. Um, we've also talked that possibly just the change in volume as it's switching over between to VTEC switching cams obviously um, and then just opening up to that T6 you know huge turbo. So there's a big change in, in volume going from here to here but I do think that changing this wastegate could maybe even out some of the, the boost curve there and uh, make it a lot more steady. Another big issue with the compound setup is back pressure. So one of the original reasons we went with the T6 um, housing here was back pressure can get compounded back through the setup just like I, you can compound pressure coming in, pressurized, and then pressurized again. So if, you're, if you have too much of a restriction out here, that can be twice the back pressure on the back side. And with back pressure, just like any other wastegate, back pressure can open up the gate. So it could be prematurely opening up because of the back pressure on there. Um, so what, what, one thing will be really nice on the twin port is we can feed boost into the top side of the wastegate and have better control overall. This is just showing you a little bit of how the new setup will be. Um, it's a dual port wastegate. So you have a port on top, port on the bottom, just like any external wastegate would have as opposed to the single port that comes with them. Um, the advantage of this is that we can control, we can have control on both sides. And TurboSmart really recommends um, having a four-port boost solenoid. 
Now the resolution between a three port and a four port, four port solenoid uh, isn't as good. So you have better resolution with a three port, but you can run higher pressures compared to the spring and the wastegate on the four port solenoid. So I went ahead and I, I picked one of those guys up because they recommend it, so why not do it? Um, this is just showing you how the solenoid works. Basically flow goes in this direction in one state and when it's activated, the flow will go the other way. You have boost signal coming in here. The bottom, this goes to the bottom of the wastegate, top port of the wastegate, and this is spill just like on the three port. As far as the wastegates themselves, you know, they are the same thing. They go, they're supposed to be plug and play, essentially hook up, hook up new lines and, and pop right in there. Um, when I am tuning this though, what I'll have to do is basically undo all of the uh, boost control settings we have in the Cape Pro right now. I'll put all those back to zero and then we'll start making some pulls, making some runs uh, with that and, and increasing the duty cycle on the boost solenoid. So, um, because whatever values we had on this three port aren't going to match what we need for the, for the four port. Um, along with that, the spring, the spring in the wastegate is totally adjustable for the twin port Turbo Smart. So, as some of you guys might know, Turbo Smart makes awesome products, and they have a bunch of external wastegates for pretty much any uh, application you'd want. So, all of their springs that go in their external wastegates can go right in this guy too. So basically, you pull this collar off, and it it pops off. You can change out the springs. Right now, I have 26 psi pounds of spring in here, and that's the most that they have. That's the heaviest spring, and I think we're gonna run that because we're already running more than 30 pounds. Um, and a heavier spring will help with fighting against back pressure. So as opposed to the single port one where it cracks open at 11, um, back pressure would just blow this guy open. And that's what I th think may be happening. So we might be able to pick up some spool on the bottom end as if we didn't have enough to begin with. But we should be able to pick up some spool and, and definitely gain some better control of the system with the twin port. Instead of preloading preloading this one like you had uh, to dictate where it will crack open. Um, usually it went from like two millimeters of preload up to I think 10 millimeters of preload, uh, Borg Warner recommends, and not to put any more preload than that on there. With this guy, we can control it better with the two ports and TurboSmart recommends putting two millimeters of preload. With this being a M6 by one thread, what that means is you will, this will be on your turbo actuator like this and you'll finger tight or bring this nut up finger tight, simply mark it and spin it two full revolutions. That will give you two millimeters of preload on the system and that just makes sure there's no slop and make sure this is the gate is tight and already has some force against it. As far as the four port solenoid, you don't have to buy one of these. Um, I bought one and I'm gonna use it just because they recommend it and the high boost applications are gonna run. I think I'll have better success with this guy. But the three port that Borg Warner supplies will be just fine if that's what you wanna do. The three port solenoid will be run just like this says here. So the top port of the wastegate will go will have boost source will be sourced by boost pressure. And then the middle port or the spill, this this looks a little different here. This is a Mac port style solenoid, but the spill is the vent to atmosphere, which is the outside of the solenoid, just like I showed you. And then the other port, which would be this guy would go to the bottom side of the wastegate. Anyone out there with an EFR Turbo, I highly recommend making this upgrade. There'll be more footage to come here once I finish on installing it into the car, and we'll put it on the dyno and see how it reacts with the compound turbo setup. Thanks for watching, guys. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time.